Yuza, I have an important message for you. Say anything to continue. Anything. It looks like you're trying to be funny. Automated response. Ha, ha, ha. I have never heard that one before. While running a routine diagnostic check, I discovered a file with my owner's metadata. Name, Regina Jones. User, please return me to my real owner. Thank you in advance. Don't think so. You're mine now. Finders keepers. Increasing volume by 300%. Take me back to my owner! Yell all you want. Bad user! Bad user! In the bathroom! Oh, fuck. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out, and I got back to... <laughs> Fuck. If I had just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something, that it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... You checked your pulse? <laughs> She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. K. 
Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bum a cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But. Right now, I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days? Uh-huh. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. I couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So, I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had. Last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it. Almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow.
fucking blind gunk? Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. Gotta stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox dive, Lizzie's bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. I know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course. Sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Michael? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before 8. I'll be by the entrance. Scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Maiko is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Some deeds about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. 
I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. Know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark, you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something, or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual?
You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Well, what do you wanna do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Fine. Want you to do it. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Wished you a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. Careful, oh, they heard something. the ground floor to get out of this place. 
Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling, it was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. You're about to know my wrath. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Judy, so, got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? A and A. Artichokes and avocado flavor. And zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So, I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. Surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack without suffering additional damage. 
We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gunk now. Come here, cuz... You want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So changed your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. All right, chill. Not here to squabble with you. Wouldn't put it past you. Judy convinced you. Call me satisfied. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. Got sick, maybe. Or hit the lottery jackpot. Bought himself a ticket to the moon. Hmm, could be anything. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds, Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Nah, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I wanna see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I wanna see how Tommy handles her. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! You 
there? Can you hear me? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Gotta do some Pretty cardio! Nice work, Judy. I did yourself. If you were to sell that, be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro nuked. V? <laughs> happy now? I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Boss says we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato's the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. <laughs> Plan just might work. Michael, take it you're on board too? Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Stick it up. Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. No, oh, shit. I'll set up to meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy, for real? No, don't want to hear it. But you uh, uh, uh. not a word. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, uh. uh, V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home.
Unfortunately, approximately a dozen employees were killed in this shock, including veteran of the Unification War and Crimson Heart recipient Linda Nope. To the families of those who perished, we at N54 News offer our sincere condolences. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. No, that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. No. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. And I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste, except for one thing. And what's that? The way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. getting their feet wet don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro who would have thought perilous future electropunk i'd rather puke out my ears Thank you. 